Hey, what's up? My name is Abe, and I'm going to be installing the Fireflies 5050 series interior LED kit into my 2019 Ram 1500. Let's take a look at what's inside this box. You got a tool, some LED bulbs. This is a 15 piece kit. A little note. and all the different locations for your bulbs. I probably will not be using the engine or the license, but everything else I'm gonna be using. All right, so I'm gonna get started on the vanity lights. I'll show you guys an example on one of them, and then it's gonna be the same for the remaining three. All right, so you're gonna want a small flathead like this. You're gonna to wanna to take the flathead, wedge it in between the clear part and the dark part and then give it a crank and it should just start popping out it's gonna be difficult to do with one hand so I'm gonna set you guys down and go for it once you get it popped loose you'll be able to pull it out and there's the bulb all right so now you're gonna take the bulb out I'm using this tool I'm gonna pop it out There's the old bulb. There's a new bulb. I'm gonna put this one back in. All right, so let's give her a test. Well, if it doesn't work, you gotta flip it. So here is the difference between the LED versus the stock bulb. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and just do the same to the rest of the vanity lights. So one thing I wanna make note of is if you use a screwdriver, you do have a chance of marring it or scratching it. And then also another note is if you go to put the plastic cover uh, back over the bulbs just to be careful because you can crack them. It's cold out for me right now so one of mine did crack. Uh, I just wanted you guys to be aware of that and let's keep going. Alright so now that the vanity lights are done I'm gonna get started on the footwell lights. Alright so the driver's side footwell light is right here. You can actually take it, pop the cap off, comes right off with a little bit of force the bulb's right there now let's change it so as you can see I used the uh, tape method to pull it out now I'm gonna put the LED one in alright so here is the driver's side footwell light installed I just gotta put the uh, the cap back on and it's the same thing for the other side all right now we're on the passenger side I'm just gonna show you the uh, location of where the bulb is and then I'm just gonna go ahead and get at it Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and replace the dome light. It's a similar process to what we did in the vanity mirrors. We're just going to pop that cap off and replace the bulb. I actually had to squeeze the prongs in the, uh, the actual dome light itself so that way it would hold on to the new LED securely. Alright, so I'm going to work on the map lights. 
um, you'll have two bolts above your sunglass holder and you'll pry it down, unplug it, and you'll be able to work on it away from the truck. All right, so those are the two bolts you're gonna take out. They're size eight millimeter. And then you'll have these two clips, one here, one here. Unclip that. You'll pry it from this end and then you have the unit out once you unplug it. All right, so this is the unit off the truck. And then once you get it to this point, you'll actually break it down even further. Um, you have to remove it by all of these clips. And I'll be honest, it was kind of a pain to get it to this point, uh, but yet you're still not done with this. What you're gonna do is unclip it here and then pull this unit off. All right, now once you got to this point, you can now access the bulbs. I'm gonna go ahead and replace those. Okay, so that's how they've gone in. Now I'm gonna put it somewhat back together and then test it to make sure they light up before I re fully reassemble it. All right, so I test fitted mine. Um, I made sure that the polarity of the balls are going in the right side of the socket. And now I'm gonna reinstall it and put it back together. All right, so I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall it. All right, so here is the light to the glove box. Now what I'm gonna do is actually take the glove box out. And the reason being is because um, I'll actually take the light out from here, this little cap. I'll pull this cap out and pull the whole bulb assembly out. But when I go to pull it out, it will not have enough wire lanes for the bulb to be uh, easily accessible. What I'm gonna have to do is get under there and unbunch it so I can get it out and uh, have good access to the bulb. All right, so I'm gonna get started by taking off this wire string dampener off here. It comes off via this slot here. So you kind of pull it back and it'll, it'll come out of that bigger hole. What I'll do is then I'll be able to get it off his hinge by shifting it to take it off the hinge one way and then shifting it off the other way and then be able to pull it out. All right, so now I'm gonna take this tool, pry the uh, bulb out of its spot. This is as far as it's letting me go because of that wire. All right, so this is as far as that bulb will come out because of that wire length that I said earlier. Now, there is the wire. It's kind of got some tape around it. I'm gonna cut that so that way the wire will then come loose. I can pull this bulb assembly all the way out. Also, here's another tip. If you need to replace your air cabin filter, it's right here. Now's the time to do it. All right, so now I got that tape cut. Here it is.
that's going to allow me to take that right off. Now I'm going to switch that bulb, put everything back together. Now I'm just gonna reassemble everything and button it up. All right, so now that the interior uh, LEDs are installed, onto a bonus, I'm gonna install the uh, cargo lamps on the back of the truck. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that also. Uh, so let's get started. All right, so you're gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver. Um, you got four screws on the back of this light. Uh, unscrew those all out and then pull the assembly out. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison. The light on the right is obviously the LED. The one on the left is the old stock bulb. Now when you go to take these out, you're gonna reach in the back of the bulb, you're gonna give it a counterclockwise turn, pull that bulb out, the socket, replace it with the LED, put it back into the socket, turn it clockwise to lock it, And then we're gonna put it back in, like, like so. I'm gonna put all the screws back in, and then the install is finished. All right, let's take one final look. All right guys, so that concludes this install. Um, for the interior LEDs and the bonus cargo light. Now, if you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up, and thanks for watching.